Do you see what I see? What? Oh, that? Belongs to Uncle Rico. It was a present from a sports club. Apparently it's really old. But Bernie, if this statue is truly ancient, then it's a priceless present. A real museum piece. Ha! <laughs> if you ask me, it looks like a naked guy playing frisbee. Playing frisbee? Watch my chops, Bernie. This is an antiquity. It's a statue of a discus thrower. It's a 3,000-year-old sport, Bernie. An Olympic sport. An Olympic sport? Really? In the olden days, I could have been an athlete of articulatory. You mean antiquity, I suppose. Ooh, may I ask what you intend to do dressed in that outfit, Bernie? I'm going into training. Oh, I wish I'd known earlier that all you need to do to be an Olympic champion is throw a frisbee. How's this? Magnificent, Bernie. <laughs> now, can we stop fooling around and go for a walk? First, we gotta play some frisbee. No! Wait, Bernie, you're not getting... No, not here! <gasps> Rico sees this, he's gonna kill me! <laughs> ow, 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 ow. So you bark now? <laughs> What's that? Uh, uh, Mrs. Solo, uh, no, no, don't come in! But Bernie, what on earth is wrong with you? Martians! There are Martians in the building! They're terrifying! They walk like this, and they make awful sounds! <laughs> <laughs> Bernie, did you break your uncle's statue? <laughs> it's not my fault. I'm begging you, Mrs. Solo. Please don't tell him anything. Please! My dear Bernie, whether I tell him or not, he'll soon see that his statue is in pieces. Unless... Unless what? Hmm? It's a miracle! Yes, well, more like an expensive miracle. That copy cost me a fortune. But you know I didn't want your Uncle Rico to punish you. You know how tender-hearted I am. Ah, oh, Mrs. Solo, you're so nice. I'd really like to give you a kiss. Ah, oh, oh, no need. But I do have a teensy weensy little favor to ask you in exchange. She's pretty cool, huh? Frankly, Bernie, my gut instinct tells me you'd be better off confessing everything to your uncle. Miss Solo said it was a teensy weensy little favor. Hmm, yes, I'm wondering about the size of this teensy weensy little favor. Already here? Oh, Bernie, you are a young man of your word. So, uh, what's this little favor you'd like me to do? I thought just a bit of light irony. <gasps> ah, well then, that's done. Ah, see you around, Mrs. Solo. Thank you, Bernie dear. But I think the best way of seeing you around would be for us to come up with a code phrase to call you whenever I need your help. Um, uh, a what? To call me? Uh, Bernie, you can't say no after uh, everything I've done for you. That statue reproduction cost me a fortune, and I did it all so you wouldn't break your Uncle Rico's heart. <gasps> If he knew how ungrateful his nephew was. That is so not okay! What a good idea for our code. Let's say that is so not okay. Whenever I need your help, I'll just say that is so not okay, and you'll come running immediately. Understood, Bernie? No, I'm sorry, but that's impossible, Mrs. Solo. I 
gotta take care of Corneal. Don't you worry about that. I'll take care of Corneal. Tell your Uncle Rico you broke the statue. No, Corneal. A man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. Oh, you like that, don't you, little doggy? Bernie, huh? don't forget to take out the garbage. <laughs> Bernie, you forgot a bag. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Hello? Tired. And in my book, that's so not okay. <laughs> no, not that. It's nothing. Never mind. Oh. It'll pass. Everything is fine. Ah! Uh, Bernie, aren't you going to pick up? Uh. <laughs> we'll just see what's so not okay. Yeah. Beth, I think he's showing signs of overwork. <sighs> Bernie? It's Mrs. Solo oh. for you. No! Absolutely not! But what would your uncle say if he found out that his precious statue is nothing but a copy and that his nephew destroyed a piece of art worth $100,000? Very good, Bernie. Don't forget to massage between my toes. <laughs> and while you're at it, why don't you massage little Cornelie Poo? <gasps> Perfect. I think we're done for today. Did you like that, little Cornelie Poo? <laughs> Oh, good. See you tomorrow, Bernie. <gasps> what do you mean, tomorrow? Yeah. So, Cornelie Pool, looks like life's treating you pretty good. Don't take it out on me, Bernie. You know very well there's a simple way to put an end to all this. Oh, yeah? How? Tell your Uncle Rico you broke the statue. Are you crazy? <laughs> After all I've done? I'm not gonna fess up now. I'm gonna fight blackmail with blackmail. I'm sure Mrs. Solo has a secret she doesn't want anyone to know about. Oh, come off it, Bernie. You can't go around trying to expose Mrs. Solo's private life, even if she is the mistress of blackmail. You think? <laughs> Bernie, dear, my herb tea. Right away, Mrs. Solo. <laughs> there you go. Madame's herbal tea is served. <laughs> a, a little sugar and two lumps for Mrs. Solo. Two? Well, now, Bernie, I see that you learn quickly. You can go now. Goodbye, Mrs. Solo. See you tomorrow. Hey. <laughs> Just between the two of us, Mrs. Solo, I think you've got a secret hidden somewhere, huh? And you know who's going to find it? Me, Bernie. Nasty feet. <sighs> Snoring like a hippo. Ugly, not my type. <gasps> oh. <gasps> Sweet dreams.
dreams, Mrs. Solo. Sleep well. In a moment, I'll know your secret. Back off, Bernie. Say thanks a lot, Cornelie Poo. I'll get you for this. Stop, thief! Flamby! What in the world is going on here? It wasn't me! She's the one who broke the statue! Uh, oh, thank you! Thank you so much! Huh? Huh? What do you mean, thank you? Well, thanks to you, I no longer have to spend all day dusting that ugly naked frisbee thrower guy! Uh, you know, it was kind of partly my fault too, Uncle Rico. Yeah, yeah. Look, what can I do to thank you, my dear Mrs. Solo? I would be delighted to return the favor. Ask me anything. Anything? I mean it.